Good afternoon everybody. Another top up video, uh, another short video to explain how I've just modified my original um, as I showed you earlier which was which was this unit which the aluminium tube goes into for a, a ring post. What I've actually done, I've worked out if I wanted to use my third hand and this ring post at the same time all I needed to do was drill a hole in the centre of this base to take the, um, the nip screw and what I've done here this was on the top of the bench before this piece of 60mm box section which acts as a cradle which these slots go into <coughs> so now I've got a full system now I've got my bench bench posts for, for you know doing um, using the uh, jeweler's saw and I've also got the um, ring post which this tube goes into and all I do is just simply transfer this from the third hand table into there so I can use it without all this clutter in the way so I've took it out of there and just simply sat it on top um, which you could do on any bench actually um, you could have a bench just with a hole drilled in just like that one is there and just have that actually in the bench as well so you can actually put it into this one as well and have it quick release there's so many different ways you can do things um, so you can have a, a more permanent one with quick release or you can have the post itself just sat on top of a table and clamped down and the post on its own on the table or the post actually on the third hand table um, all interconnecting, all just made of plywood and uh, I know I've said it before but there's, you can see the, the astronomical savings you make just by uh, adopting uh, one system that fits all basically and I've just come up with another idea today which isn't a new idea in, in itself but uh, I've got this Moore and Wright um, scribing post here um, which you can actually fine tune you can fine tune it up and down, knock it down flat. Um, and I'm gonna what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm gonna on, on one of the rods, I'm gonna cut a little slot in the top here, and I'm gonna fit a pair of uh, reverse tweezers into it, like this. Drill a hole through the back of the the tweezers here and slot that into a slot on the top with a little, little nip screw across so that's like another hand so that's like a fourth hand and uh, that once once that's set in position you can actually fine tune that the thing up in, up and down into place you can see it moving there so so rather than trying to position these things and hopefully they stop where you want them you could use this one and uh, fine tune the the piece right into the piece of work where you want it to go and that's quite a sturdy heavy base that won't knock it that won't knock very easily so there's another possibility which I'm going to do this afternoon I'm going to cut a slot in there with the angle grinder and pin that across so we've got another yet another system and we can put into multiple directions you could also have um, another post coming from here from from the from the side and with a hook with a hook to hold something is also that's like two in one as well so I'll get round to that one and get me uh, me uh, whole grey mat around it so that's the uh, the system there completely finished now I've got some lovely little um, self washing allen keys and on the on the other side I have the same again same washed lock nuts and uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's all coming along now. So again, you can you can just um, undo the wing nut underneath <coughs> and pull that out, and then uh, put all the other ones into there. Quick fitting. It's not as quick as some of the commercial ones, but it's quick enough. It only takes you literally a couple of seconds like that just to set it in. I might even underneath here. I might even um, put a, a cam lock onto there so it's even quicker still so it's just as quick as the commercial versions then but as you can see just with a few little simple things 
you can actually set yourself up with a fairly um, fairly good system. So I was quite excited about that just to show you it and uh, you could have that extra one on there for doing extra work like so. So as the, you can never have enough hands sometimes and you're soldering together really delicate pieces with several, piece, lo several loose pieces and uh, the soldering pick I made this morning will come in handy for that as well. So that's just another five minute video just to show you how you can actually do things for yourself really cheaply. Any kind of tube will do. Um, you wouldn't even have to go to the elaborate of um, turning the wood down and you could just have a, a washer on top of there and shape, shape any kind of material just to sit, set hold of the ring. There's many, many different ways to do it, even cheaper than this. So, um, thank you all again for watching. Bye for now.